From divine sister of the light airy knee, crystal and indigo guide to the galaxy, Athens, the rock of the Acropolis, the petrified remains of a huge ancient living tree. Great revelations are here. The living trees will grow again. Two nights ago I had the most amazing revelation. I was taken inside the crystalline portal of the Acropolis, and I was shown how the rock that the Parthenon was built on is the remaining part of the trunk of a huge ancient living tree. Even though I knew of the ancient huge trees that were cut down, it really had never crossed my mind that the rock of the Acropolis is the petrified remains of one of those trees. It makes so much sense now why we have been guided all this time to work with the tree of life via the crystalline portal of the Acropolis, and why the portal is also placed next to the old rock. I was also shown that there are many other ancient sites and energy portals that people are connecting to all over the world that are the same. They are the petrified remains of these huge ancient living trees. I was told that one of them is Uluru in Australia. All beings used to be connected to these huge living trees. They used to live on them. Their lives were absolutely one with them. When the old biosphere collapsed, the trees got infected, and all beings connected to them got infected too. This was the poison that infected their systems. Later the trees were cut down, and during a different reset, the remaining trunks and roots that could not be removed got petrified too. Message. Let everyone know that the rock of the Acropolis is the petrified remains of a huge living ancient tree. I was also told that those who connected to our work via the crystalline portal of the Acropolis are beings that once were connected to the specific living tree or to other living trees and they came in contact in order to retrieve this memory and DNA code because their mission is also to support the revival of the living trees all over the earth. We will continue the 144,000 diamond code in service of all. The movie Avatar also gave a great presentation of these living trees and the deep and meaningful connection of all beings to them. The whole system was vibrant and living back then, and everything and everyone was connected to each other via the living grid. All beings' neurological systems were able to connect to the living trees to the living grid, and to the neurological systems of other beings. I was so happy when I was guided to plant the tree of life again. I love trees so much. In the next decades, the current biosphere will collapse, and the old biosphere of the living ether will return. This will allow these huge living trees to regrow and blossom again. A whole new world will be rebirthed. The living grid will be fully online and alive again, and all beings will be interconnected again. Our mission here has been successful. This I can say. There is so much more to the story. There is nothing and no one that can stop this. So it is. Message. A completion of a big cycle. What comes after the 1212 gate for the world? It is the 1313 gate that is coming. The new and old living calendars will return also with a new biosphere. Thank you, Tree of Life. I love you more than words can express. Erini, El Moriana, Anadi, Miana, Ol a Christos, Hunama Anata, Kumara, Yellow Galactic Warrior.